I want to know exactly what really occurred on that day that she passed out. I want someone to tell me what really, really happens at that day. My daughter used to be a nice, loving child. At one point in time, she started being disobedient at the age of 13 years, running away and not returning home. I think it's influenced not by friends, but her enemies, because friends don't influence in wrong things. And it was not just any kind of friends, it's like big men. And I don't know why the police, when they get the information the first time, why they didn't do something about the situation. The last time I saw her was the Wednesday when she came up to our house. When she came back, she was acceptable. I forgive her, she was very disobedient to both the parent because of the influence outside. And um, she was home Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. The Wednesday she wanted to go for her clothes. Her mom said, no, you cannot go because Friday you say you're gonna go for the clothes, so better you go Friday instead. Well, that didn't happen. She never returned home on that day. It was after 11, the Wednesday night, my phone rang and then some men on the other side of the line said to me, your daughter is sick, you need, you need some clothes. That's all he said to me, he need clothes, she's sick. So I sent my big daughter down to the hospital with the clothes, with one of the teachers from Western Hall Secondary School. About an hour after that, my phone rang again, stating that the child died. So I said, what kind of game is that? You all know told me that the child is sick. No one tell me if she had drunk any substance whatsoever. You know, no one had told me anything like that. And that was the whole situation. And from then, everything just go downhill. Well, to be honest, I think um, the police will have to deal with that situation because it is a minor. And um, <clears throat> based on the underage children, she's unprotected and he's abusing her in any way he can do. Because fully, to be honest, she might make certain decisions, but when coming for like sexual intercourse and other means, you might be harboring her by money or some gift or whatever that she may like. So once you're given her that, and we don't uphold certain things in our house based on a religious background. So we're not gonna uphold like lipstick, haircuts, and everything that is of the world. So we want to show her that this is only for a time. You know, we want her to be, be grounded in the truth. So because she can't get it, she will run away to get what she need from outside. And he's supporting her by this. So I think this is what really happened. Once you're dealing with this matter, you should inform the, the parents that, okay, we reached certain, certain case, certain process, and then we handling the case that way and that is taking place. But no one call us, come to us and said anything. Not because you tell me she died of suicide. I don't buy in that one. They have some more research to do. I want justice. I want some justice for my daughter's death. I want the person responsible for that come out and speak.